uh, respected uh, director of IBSC and uh, director of PC studies and all the senior venerables, uh, including from Plum Village and all the brother and sisters. I am Phunsok Dorji Lama and uh, today I got a very beautiful opportunities to talk about the peace and peaceful society. And uh, the funniest thing is that I was not the uh, representative talker of Abhasrayana, but uh, somehow due to the visa problem of my representative, I swapped him and I'm here to talk. That's why I'm not so ready with the PPT and all. So if I do some mistakes or if I have some mistakes, so I will apologize for that. So today's program, uh, behalf of Day of Peace 2023, International Peace for Global Peace Peace Society. So today we are here to talk about peace. So as in 21st century, we can see around the world so many conflict going on, so many debate going on, so many vice going on according to their races, according to their country, according to their uh, like so on, you, you can see. So, and being a human, what we connect is we connect with the suffering. And uh, we don't want suffering, but we are lack of the education, how to get out of suffering. Even the Buddha, that our teacher, the master, or whatever we would call him, he already taught the way out of suffering 2,600 years ago. But it's still like some few of the people are like according to the world population, maybe we are so few to learn. And so few if we come like to practice and so few to apply it. So it's uh, like a very good opportunities to talk about peace today. So, so as our one greatest scholar, Santi Deva, has said that, like, the peace comes from inside. Like, people are searching peace outside, but they are forgetting to see the peace from inside. So same thing, he has just given one very beautiful example that um, if the world is like a suffering and there is thrown all around the world, we cannot go and pick all the throne. It's too tiring. You, it's too like time consuming. And if you want to cover with the leathers to not harm that thrones to you, feet, it's again like impossible. But if you wear a shoes by yourself, then wherever you walk, the throne is not going to harm you. So that saying says that the peace first built within from you. As a plum village, their motto is everything is here and now. So same, everything is here and now with you. So start the peace from you. So people will think that how to start the peace? How? How we follow, how we create the peace? But again, we can just go as a son of the Buddha. Buddha already showed the way of peace, the better, the, the suffering the cause of suffering, the out of, the sensations of suffering, and the way out of suffering that is noble eighth part. So what will be there? Uh, so we are searching how can we have a peace. There, already we had, just we have, taking it grantedly, maybe we just chant every day, we think we are monk or we think we are Buddhist, we know these all teachings of Buddha, but we forget to apply it, practice it maybe the eight for noble part. And uh, in our tradition, we, when we are summoning or like novice monks, the teacher will teach us like kewachu and migyawachu, that is like 10 unwholesome deed and comes from body, mind, and speech. So if we really want to be peace, first work from yourself and how to tame yourself, not doing the unwholesome deed, like not killing as our venerable, all are talking about the conflicts and the cause of suffering. So I think it's better to 
apply from yourself and then if you are peace from inside like you are the represented and then from you there will be we like our society from our society there will be a country maybe there will be country there will be a uh, world right so global so and uh, as a Vajrayana uh, you can see that Vajrayana always chant mantras so another terms of Vajrayana is like mantrayana or tantrayana and people think that oh they are like chanting too much maybe because we chant from morning till evening so like lunch break tea break and then again chanting but uh, our traditions like uh, in chanting we chant within that chanting we visualize within that chanting we do meditate so when uh, our chanting like style at first same we go refuse to the buddha dhamma and sangha then we generate the mind to help all people as a peaceful life may all be out of suffering and after that we chant for immeasurable that is we call it chemesi which is very important for peaceful society in pali we say Meta, Mudita, Karuna, and Upeka. And in our terms, we say Champa, Ninje, uh, Gawa, and Tanyum. So I would like to chant that one. So maybe that chant maybe uh, help you all to visualize uh, the Meta, Karuna, Mudita, and Mukheo, Upeka. So Semjen, Tamjen, Dewa, Dan, David, Judan, Nembran, Jurjen, Dungal, Dan, Dungan, Ji, Judan, Dabran, Jurjen, Dungal, Mepin, Dewa, Damba, Dami, Dabara, Jurjen, Nedin, Chada, Nidam, Dabe, Tandem, Chembo, Mala, Sendrap, to Nepran, Jurjik. So the translation of this prayer is the first one. Or oh, may all the sentence beings be free from the suffering and the cause of suffering. May all sentence beings be gain the happiness and the cause of happiness. May all sentence beings be uh, biased from the, uh, like how to say, attachment and anger and may be in equanimity. And uh, in conclusion, whatever we talk a lot or like many things, even Abhidhamma or Sutra or everything, but in main point when we come, the most important part of Buddha is to tame your own mind because everything starts from your mind. So to conclude my things, I will again want to chant one last phrase as we are like Tantrayana <laughs> chanting. So Dikpa Chiyami Jashing, Kewa Puntum Sofrache, Rangni Semni Yung Sudul, Dene Sanje Tempa Hins. So that means may not may we not do any uh, evil deed. May always we do a complete wholesome deed and tame your own mind. That is my teachings of Buddha. So thank you so much.